fleas, ticks. Nobody seems to like these guys, especially when they're on their pets. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, my best ever natural topical flea and tick spray for dogs and cats. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Number one, we're starting with Witch Hazel with Aloe. Witch Hazel is great when you're dealing with any type of irritated skin. The Aloe, it's a great anti-inflammatory. Of the Witch Hazel base with Aloe, we're starting with 125 mils or half a cup. Next, the coconut oil. It forms a great base when we're using essential oils because we're using neem oil, we're using seaweed oil. Secondary, the coconut oil does a great job soothing any type of irritated skin. And as well, it also has insect repellent properties. We're starting out with two tablespoons. Next are insect repellent oils. Neem oil it comes from the neem tree in Asia and it's considered one of the best anti-insecticidal oils. For today's recipe, we're going to be using two mils of the neem oil. That's two droppers full. Every dropper full here is one mil. The next anti-insecticidal essential oil that is also really critical to this recipe comes from the cedar tree, cedarwood oil. Cedarwood, it's also been extensively studied and it's shown to be very beneficial as a natural flea and tick repellent. It's also shown to be safe for our dogs and cats. We're using two mils, which is 40 drops of the cedarwood oil. When you're making a natural flea and tick spray and you're using concentrated essential oils, so long as they're used topically and applied at 2% or less dilution, they're considered safe. We're using two mils of the cedarwood oil. We're using two mils of the neem oil. When that's added into this amount of fluid, which is 180 mils, a little over half a cup, that equates to 1% dilution of the neem oil, which is considered topically safe for dogs and cats. That equates to 1% dilution of the cedarwood oil, which once again is considered safe for dogs and cats. Last but not least, we're using all natural castile soap. Castile soap, it's an emulsifier, meaning it's gonna help break up that oil so the oil can mix with the water mixture, which is mostly what the witch hazel is. Secondarily, the soap itself, it also has anti-insecticidal properties. In terms of the soap, it'll kill any of those live fleas. Castile soap, we're adding in one tablespoon. Now that we've added all the ingredients, mixed your concoction well. Castile soap that we've added in, it's helping emulsify or break down that fat into small particles. So it really blends well. And as you can see there, you're not seeing the fat separated out on the surface. And that's what we're seeing prior to adding in the castile soap. Get yourself a little spray bottle. I've got myself a little half a cup of a spray bottle here. Most of my mixture that I've already mixed in. We're gonna make sure that it's warm because if it gets too cold, the neem oil is gonna form into a thick fat. And now we're ready to do the little spray test, see if this is gonna work on little Tula. I've given it another good shake. I'm just gonna see if I can lightly mist you. The misting works. I think it was really key to add in that Castile soap because it helps like emulsify or break up those fat particles. It doesn't kind of jam up. What I found before without using the soap, kind of jams up the nozzle. You can't spray it properly. Grab your handy dandy little flea comb and slightly brush that through your dog. And this is something that can be safely done two to three times a week applied to your dog. This natural flea tick spray, it's also safe for our cats. When you're gonna be applying it to your cat, you're just gonna lightly mist your cat, staying away from his eyes, any of the sensitive parts of him. <laughs> lightly mist him, or he's not super crazy on that, but he's lightly misted. I've got a flea comb. I'm just gonna use that comb to evenly spread it throughout his fur. All right, and this is something that I would suggest if you're using it on your cat or your cats, just do that once a week. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Venery Secrets of how to make my best ever natural topical flea and tick repellent spray. Click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.